Yo guys, what's going on? Tenebris here. Welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 3 with Ian. Hey! And today's episode is a very special one because we did a bunch of things off camera. And in the beginning part of this episode, we're going to be showing these off to you guys because we're pretty proud of our creation, although it <laughs> might be a bit clunky at times. Anyway, last episode I showed you guys the automatic sorter, or pretty much like the, what was it again? The crate? The like drawers, right? The automatic yep. sorter that would sort the different mob drops into different drawers. We had a backlog of bows and stuff, so that was pretty bad, and we really wanted to improve it. So, as you can see, I am wearing some pretty nice armor. So it might be like, Tenebris, how did you get this nice armor? And the answer to your question is, well, we made an automatic <laughs> mob farm sorter and loot bag opener that outputs into an iron colossal chest, which took, like, what was that, two stacks of iron? I think um, so. Yeah. So, pretty much, we're set on materials in terms of that for uh, now. So, I'm going to show you guys how this works. So, here's our normal system, right? Our basic drawers where we have... Uh, we let this run overnight a few times, right? Didn't we? Yep. So, we have 5,000 bones, 5,000 gunpowder, 5,000 rotten flesh. You know, casual stuff. You know, just not, not too crazy, right? Come down here. As you can see, we added a... Uh, a gold chest is a buffer chest for the mob drops. Hopefully we can see something go through here. Maybe not. But pretty much when the mobs get killed by the diamond spikes, they the drops go into the hoppers. You've already seen that. And previously we've been outputting directly to the drawer controller. But what we're doing now is we're actually sorting it with a diamond transport pipe. And for all the people that are going to be like, please use Ender IO. We don't have access to Ender IO at the moment because we're using gated mode. We have to use buildcraft. This is our only option. We will use Ender IO in the future. Um, but yeah, anyway, so as the mob drops come down here, what they do is that they go into this diamond pipe, and as you can see, the diamond pipe will sort any type of bow, and the good thing about these pipes is that they actually use the metadata of the item, so it could be a bow with any durability, any type of head, uh, sticks, witches hats, arrows, graves dust, all this stuff, uh, that we don't really want, uh, is being sorted into the trash can, which basically we'll just, like, delete it, um, mm -hmm. and... Then we take the loot bags and it goes blue and the uh, everything else goes up here. So that's how we get all the mob drops up there and stuff. So let me show you what we're doing with the loot bags. So let's go up here again. So pretty much what we set up here is a system where... <laughs> okay, first of all, we have an anti-barrel right here. So now an anti-barrel basically holds multiple different types of unstackable items pretty much because you can't stack loot bags. Like if I take out two, you can see that I can't actually stack them together, but they do stack in an anti-barrel, which is the beauty of an anti-barrel. Pretty much what we're doing is we're uh, outputting the loot bags we got from the mob drop, a mob farm, sorry, into this anti barrel and then pumping them out of the anti barrel. I will demonstrate this right now. Uh, basically, the loot bags are going to be pumped out of the anti barrel into these loot bag openers. And uh, this is a bit of a, uh, a mess, but it's dire <laughs> wire, as people say. But, you know, it's uh, the best we can do with the t current tech that we have unlocked at the moment, unfortunately. But let me just demonstrate how this works. So you can see some loot bags going through. They'll go, and if they don't find a home, they'll go around in the loop back into the anti-barrel and then pumped out again. So eventually they'll all go into loot bag openers. All the materials of the loot bag openers get pumped out of uh, the loot bag openers and after it's you know been opened. And as you can see, you can see some like silent gem stuff going through here. They reach these uh, junction points. There's three of them where pretty much it sorts the... Uh, stackable items from the non-stackable items. The non-stackable items go into this iron 4x4 colossal chest, which is, by the way, actually, no, we cleared it out, we cleared it, cleared it out a little yeah. bit. Um, which is actually not as full as I thought it was originally, but, you know, we have a lot of materials here. We got a lot of diamonds from here and stuff, so that's, this is all really good. Um, and the stackable items go into this anti-barrel, where we have 2,201 items and 513 types of random stuff we got from loot bags, multiple sets of diamond armor, 85 gold chest plates, a lot of enchantment <laughs> books, uh, mana in a bottle, a lot of lexica patanias, and all this stuff. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so this is our sorter. Uh, I guess you could say loot bag opener and sorter. Do you want to say anything, Ian, about this? Uh, I know it's it's not very... doesn't look very Aesthetic. nice. Aesthetic. That's what... Yeah, aesthetically, well, it doesn't look very nice. Well, that's why we that's why we cut it off. Like we added a little area right here. We added like a big building, right? So it looks like a factory, kind of. It's like a factory. So we don't have to stare at it all the time. Um, but we have been opening these mega loot cases and I did get some bobbles. So I got a fire stone, which gives me strength to and jump to. And, uh, we still have that pink sheep on top of my head. I really took that off. That's interesting. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Let's, uh, go to... 
back to the base, and okay. I'll cut back when we're ready to start some Batania. All right, everyone, so we're here on the Batania I Island with Ian, and uh, as you can see, we have completed the first little section of Batania quests. However, there is something that we're going to need to get uh, soon, which is called Rosa Arcana. Now, the Rosa Arcana basically uses experience on the ground or of that of a player standing neat. neat? No, no, that's a typo. Near to it to generate mana. And uh, you have to create one Rosa Arcana for the quest to be complete. Now, the good thing about a Rosa Arcana is the fact that we are now collecting experience drops from the mob farm. Now, let me show you this over here right now. So inside one of these drawers, we have... Uh, 3,213 solidified experience, which means we can use this to power power our mana pool. Um, another thing that we can do is also use these black lotuses we're getting from loot bags. I don't know how many we have in here, but... Um, I think almost two stacks. Yeah, there's been a lot from the loot bags because of the loot bag opener. But we can also use that to fill up the mana pool, which basically means that we don't really need the, those endo flames that much anymore. However, I think it's kind of nice to have them, but I think we should work on getting the Rosa Arcanas uh, up and running. And yeah, let me that see how it is. should probably give you more. So let's look it up. So Rosa Arcanas are basically made... Oh, we need a rune of mana. Okay. So we have not made a single rune yet, which means nope. we're going to have to make runes. So I think before we start that, let's do the elemental runes quest. Okay. Um, because, oh yeah, obviously, because we need to get elemental runes to get season runes. And, oh, okay. Wait, rune of mana. Hold on. Let me, let me Rune of mana is, not, is actually pretty easy. Oh, okay. We don't actually need anything unlocked to get that. All right. So we need, it's five mana still ingots and one mana pearl. Um, let me just get a mana pearl. Uh, so okay. let's get an ender pearl. We actually have a ton of mana steel. I would I'll move all some. of it over to the Batania chest, by the way. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yet. Um, so we, we've, we're getting a lot of mana steel from the mob drops, and I, I'm sorry, I, I was confusing the rune of mana with the elemental runes, which we will probably do later this episode, but in the meantime, let me get a mana pearl. There we go. All right, let's put it on the runic altar. Okay, mana pearls on the runic altar, and Ian's over there just getting the yep. uh, mana steel. So, yeah. Um, we could technically... Uh, oh, you know what's an idea we could do? Here's something. What? Uh, I'm going to say this on camera because it's something that I think is, would be interesting to set up on camera. Uh, in better storage, there's ender link chests. We could output uh, the mana mana ingots from the sorter into an ender link chest and then output them into a Batania chest over here. Mm. Perhaps we could look at setting that up in the future. That sounds interesting. How yeah. many? Uh, how many? Four. Four, I think. Let me check. Uh, yes. No, five, five, five. Okay, okay, there you go. All right, and now it just has to craft up. But what I was thinking, dude, see this chest right here, right? This is like our Batania stuff, right? Hey, you want to put the Black Lotuses in? I, I got them, too. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. We have Black Lotuses here. But what we could do is set up an Enderlink chest and pump it into this chest, right, from the mob farm. Um, yep, we might I, I, do that off-camera. I'm not sure if that's an on-camera, off-camera. I'm not sure. Oh, but it's done. In the meantime, we'll, we'll do this. So just right-click with your Wand of the Forest. Oh, wait, I have to... Yeah, living yeah, Rock, yeah, sorry, living I forgot rock. about that. Living yeah. Rock. Okay. Living Rock, and then Wand of the Forest to to actually get it. So, oop, wait, do I have to throw it? Yep. Okay, Rune of Mana. Done. Now, next step to get the Rose of Arcana. We need two pink, two purple, and one lime. Uh, okay, I'm doing it. Uh, lime. Petals. Okay. Now, in here, we have a... Basically, we have all of our... Um, our petals in like cool drawers <laughs> boom all right we need some seeds now obviously and ooh, we need to really bring the seeds over there as well um, we should i'm pretty sure you just like mine our wheat farm yeah that, a that, that's a, that's a good idea all right let me just start really quickly so we can actually you know complete the quest i'm gonna put all the seeds over in a ch in the chest by the way um okay well, we, only got, we only got five gain but it, it's fine all right let's throw the seeds in Rosa Arcana, generating flower. Uh, should I replace... I'm going to replace one of these endo flames with that, by the way. Okay. Um, oh, look, it's draining my XP. Look at that. You stand here and it drains your XP. Should we get more of these? You, you reckon? All right. Is it linked? It is linked. It's, oh, wow. It, it does... It actually makes a good amount of mana, I think. Let's check. Well, like, you're not going to see it from there. It's mm -hmm. just... Because it's... The mana pool is so huge. But, like... Okay. Well, we can keep this here with the endo flames, I guess. It's not really, like... 
Okay. Yeah, but we do have experience droplets, which, we, which means that basically we can have infinite or close to infinite mana f just from that. I'm gonna um, drop some black lotus. You want to see how like fast it fills up? Yeah, let's see. Okay, ready? Yep. Whoa, that's going pretty fast. Whoa. I like the particle effects. All right. There's all 14. Anyway, let's uh go back to the quest book and look okay. at some more things we can do with Batania. So let me claim that first of all. And next thing it wants us to make are elemental runes. Rune of water, rune of fire, rune of earth, rune of air. So let's see. Right. Rune of water. Okay. So basically, these are just like different things, right? So rune of water, first of all, needs mana powder, a fishing rod, sugar cane, bone meal, and a mana steel. Mana powder is just gunpowder, right? So yes. I guess we'll gather we'll gather the materials off camera, and we'll be back when we're ready to start making the runes. All right, everyone, so it looks like uh, we got all the materials to make the elemental runes. So I'll start off by making the rune of water, which requires a mana powder, a mana steel, bone meal, sugar cane, and a fishing rod. So mana powder, mana steel, bone meal, fishing rod, and a sugar cane. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And uh, each of us did two. So I did the Rune of Water and Rune of Earth, and Ian did the Rune of Fire and Rune of Air. So that way we kind of split up the job evenly. Let's get some living uh, rocks so we can actually finish the crafting. All right. Oh, looks like it's done. Boom. All right, Rune of Water complete. Next thing, Rune of Earth. Uh, okay. Mana Steel, Mana Powder, um, Stone, Block of Coal, Mushroom. So Stone, Block of Coal, Mushroom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, done. All right. Let's look ahead in the quest book to see what we do next after this. Um, it looks like, okay, so Botanical Brewery is something we're definitely going to want to make. Uh, yes. Which is basically like a special brewery that uses mana. And you can make like uh, like custom things. It's pretty cool. Um, we're also going to look into getting a Band of Aura. Oh, that's interesting. The Ring of Aura passively generates mana while worn. I didn't know that mm. that was a thing. I think that that was definitely not a thing in 1.7. Um, yeah, I don't remember that. Uh, but we also want to get a mana tablet and a band of mana soon. Okay, let me. This is done. So, boom. All right. All right. I'll make mine. Earth. Okay. Here comes fire. Um, while Ian does that, I guess I'll start working on the botanical brewery. Botanical okay. brewery is made with a block of mana steel, a rune of mana, a brewing stand, and six living rock. Okay, we can do that. I think. So first of all, I'm gonna get that block of mana steel, obviously, because we need that first. Uh, we need the living rock, we need six living rock, which we have in my inventory. We need a rune of mana, which we do not have, which requires five mana steel. So five mana steel. And a mana pearl, which we need to get. Oh, we got elemental runes. Okay, good, sounds good. Um, mm -hmm. Do you want to put the runes in the chest, I would say? Yeah, that's where I just put them. Okay, we put them in the chest. All right, I'm making a botanical brewery. So boom, 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 boom. All right. And I like the noise it makes, like... <laughs> um, blaze rods. We don't have... Oh, wait, you can put two molten cores together and get four. You can? Yes. Well, we have molten cores. Do we, though? Are you sure? I thought we were low on them. Yeah, because they used to give magma. Didn't they give magma cream? Yeah, but we got some. How many? We have sixty-three. Cores? I put them in here. Oh. Okay. I'll take one. Oh wait, you need two. Right. Oh, I took all. Of them. Whatever. I'll make. There we go. Four blaze rods. Okay. Okay. Into fire. Oh, why did I take a nebulous nebulous heart? That's weird. Okay. Uh, I think I have one in my inventory. I'm not sure, but let's make a brewing stand so we can. Oh wait, we have one right here. I, I'm gonna keep that one. I think. Um. Let's get some stone. Oh, not in here. We never have stone in the chest. It's always in this compacting drawer. It's weird. <laughs> All right. Let's make some. Oops. Let's go over here. Make the brewing stand. Is that done? Ian? What? Is the that done? Mana? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you want it? Yeah. Rune of mana. Okay. Thank you. All right. And it looks like everything is complete. So let's craft the botanical brewery. Done. Uh, now, this is going to require a mana spreader near it, right? I would, I would, I would assume. Uh, it just needs to make a mana spreader link to it, yeah. Next to the pool, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll put another one uh, next to the pool. We should have an extra one. Uh, okay. Or we don't, apparently. So, if you want to make that really quickly, that would be cool. And, and link it. Um, 
Okay, I'm not sure if we have enough of the, the way we should have. So botanical brewery is basically allow you to make a bunch of different things. Uh, we're not going to do them right now, but you can make some pretty cool potions. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a look at what we can do, uh, actually. So botanical brewery, if you click you on it, it should show you. Yeah, okay, so you can make vials. Oh, that are better than normal potions, right? I remember this now. So we mm -hmm. have like flask of gills, cloaking. All right, where you want to put it? Oh, you put it here? Yeah. Shielding, overload, or overload, cross, is there anything new? Let's see, feather, oh yeah, feather feet, remember that, that was OP, we don't need that though, blood first, thirst, allure, absolution, huh, okay. Can you vein mine this? Um, I will in oh. one second, I'm changing this okay. so it's like, even. Alright, let me relink it then. There you go. Alright, anyway, uh, now that we've done that, let's claim that uh, loot chest, and... Let's do okay. We could do incense sticks, or we could do passive mana generation. I think this is the best thing. So band of aura. Let's do that. Okay. Band of aura is made with a rune of mana. We need to make a bunch of these rune of mana and four mana steel. So let's make another uh, rune of mana. So it's five mana steel. So one, two, three, four, five, and, and a pearl. A pearl, which I'll go get the pearl. We're going to need to go get. Um, and that should make the Rune of Mana. Band of Aura passively generates mana while worn, which is obviously something that we're going to want to have. Uh, and then I guess we'll do this, and then mm, we could just go wherever from there. We might want to get an Alchemy Catalyst. I'm not sure, but yeah. Pretty sure it's useful down the line somewhere to get, like, certain materials. Yes, you can transmute items with it, so that's good. But I'm on my way. All right, so make the Mana Pearl. I made I made five. Okay, good. Okay. Now we just gotta wait for this to craft up. All right. What else do we have to do after this? I want to make the mana ring of mana, band okay. of mana, and mana tablet. Obviously. So passive mana generation is the first thing though uh, that we want to do. So let's just do this right now. For a living rock. Rune of mana done. Uh, actually, yeah, Rune of Mana done, so now I gotta do it's four like this, like that. Band of nice. Aura. Now, does this fit in the I think slot? it goes into bubbles. Unfortunately, I can either put the Firestone, which gives me Jump, or the Band of Mana. Band of Aura. I can't put both, unfortunately. Um, that stinks. We don't need it, I don't think. I don't, we're not short shortage of mana right now. Yeah, okay. I'll put, Are I'll we? put it in there. No, we don't need it. You're right. It's just for a quest. Look, if we need mana, just stand by this flower. Yeah, you're right. Personal mana storage, mana tablet, and band of mana. Band of mana is crafted with a mana tablet, which is a mana pearl surrounded by a living rock, or a mana diamond. Mana pearl or mana diamond. Um, but we have mana pearls, don't we? Uh, yeah, I made some. All right. So we'll do... Okay, so we'll make... We have to make a mana tablet. Don't we have to make both? I think we do. Okay, I'll make two. All right. Two mana tablets. I'll work on the, I'll work on the mana blaster then, like the gun. Okay. Then we need that too. All right, sounds good. Let's make two mana tablets. All right, and we're running kind of iffy on mana steel, just FYI. Not, it's we, have, not, we have a lot more. Not on, oh, we do? Okay. All right. We have, so we have this stack in this chest still. Yeah, I know, but we had two stacks. Oh, don't worry. We have plenty. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so we just completed that quest. Uh, Elemental Rods has been unlocked. Oh, here we go. Ooh. This is what I'm talking about. Rod of the lands, rod of the seas, rod of the skies, oh, oh, these rod of the hells. Crazy. Yes, this is the best part of Batania. Oh my god, we're going to be gods. Okay, I'll be back in a bit while uh, Ian finishes this up, and we're ready to start making these elemental rods. All right, everyone, so Ian is going to make another set of these uh, elemental runes so he can start working on the seasonal runes, which require uh, the rune of spring, summer, autumn, and winter, which require the lower tier of runes to craft, obviously. However, I kind of looked at it, and I'm pretty sure most of these elemental rods are only going to require the first tier. So we'll start making these. So first thing we want to make is Rod of the Lands, which is a dirt, a living wood twig, and a rune of the earth. We have a rune of the earth right here, and we're also going to need a living wood twig. And I'm actually going to make a few of these right now. Oh, it only, it's only one. Um, do we, have, do we have any living wood anywhere? Do you know? 
Uh, I think we might have used it. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, I'll be back when we... Uh, okay, sorry about my dog. I'll be back whenever uh, my dog shuts up so I can actually start recording again. Ugh. All right, everyone, I'm back. It looks like Ian has finished up all of the season runes. Now he's going to be working on the sin runes. Um, so, in the meantime, I think we should be working on elemental rods. So, I'll start doing the elemental rods. Uh, do we need a Lexica Batania to see what they do, or do we remember? Um, we have Lexica Batania if we need it. Yeah, okay, well, anyway, first I'm gonna make all the, all the rods. Now, these basically are special powers that you get from, you know, using mana. So, for example, I know Rod of the Seas is like an infinite water bucket. Uh, Rod of the Skies will shoot you up in the air, that's my favorite one. Uh, Rod <laughs> of the Hells, I'm not sure what that does. Rod of the Molten Core, I think that smelts things. Rod of the Depths, I'm not sure what that does. But anyway, let's start by making the Rod of the Lands. So Rod of, Rod of the Lands requires a Dirt Block, a Living Wood Twig, and the Rune of Earth. I have a Rune of Earth. Uh, now, we actually found that there was a better way to make dirt than what we were doing previously. So Ian, if you want to explain that really quickly. Oh, yeah. So what we used to do is like, you know, the snow method and freezing the snow from the snowman. But we didn't know we could just um, put, I think it's plant matter. Is it just plant matter? Yes. In the uh, uh, alchemical fusion thing, and then it just makes a bunch of dirt yeah, really easily. Much. So we have like how many stacks of dirt? Oh, like a, a single stack of dirt. So we have dirt. We have need a living wood twig, and I also added two more pure daisies, so we should be upping our production of living wood quite significantly. We could add a bit more if we really wanted to, but I think we're good for now. We're doing 32 each iteration, which is pretty good. All right, living wood twig, green of earth, and a dirt like this. Okay, Rod of the Lands complete. Next thing, Rod of the Seas, Rod of the Seas, Rod of the Seas, Rod of the Seas, Water Bottle, Living Wood Twig, and Rune of Water. Alright, we have a Rune of Water. We don't have a Rune of Water. What did you do with it, Dan? Uh, in the chest. Oh, I oh no, I took, him out. I took him out. I took him out. Here, have one. Yeah, thank you. Rune of Water. Alright, Rune of Water and a Water Bottle, which we're going to have to obviously make. So let's just get some glass, make a Water Bottle. That's a glass, make a uh, little bottle, and boom. All right, and we should be getting the uh, Rod of the Seas. Since we opened this crafting table, boom. Oh, we have to make a bunch of twigs. I'm gonna make like five of these twigs, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Rod of the Seas complete. Next one, Rod of the yep. Skies. Dun, 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 dun. Feather, living wood twig, rune of air. Feather, do we have a feather? Uh, in our mob farm. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go over there and get it. So, next, let's see what the next ones are, actually. Rod of the Hells? Rod of the Hells is Blaze Powder. Let me get some Blaze Powder. Oh my god, I need to move those chests, honestly. Let's get some Blaze right, Powder. How many, you, how many feathers do you need? Just one. Uh, Rod okay, of the Molten bring, Core. Rol molten Core, Molten Core, Molten Core. Where is that? Molten Core here. Two Blaze Rods and a Rune of Fire and two Living Wood. Okay. Um, I think we'll have to get that Blaze Rod somehow. I'm not sure exactly. Can um, we just do the Molten Core molten thing Molten Cores. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do is make a rod of the skies. Oh, we need a rune of air. We need a rune of air. Ian? Hmm? Rune of air. Oh. Uh here you go. Thank you. Alright. And now I'm going to make Rod of the Skies. Boom, boom. Watch this. Oh! Oh my god, I missed this so much from Regriff. There you go. <laughs> yes, this is so fun. Okay, now I can get an aerial view of the base. <laughs> How's it look? Looks pretty, pretty, pretty spif uh, spiffy. I almost said spiffy. Uh, <laughs> spiffy. Pretty, pretty spiffy. Um, it, it's smaller from up there, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, next thing to do is make the Rod of the Hells. Rod of the Hells is Blaze Powder, Living Wood Twig, and Rune of Fire. Do you have a Rune of Fire? Yes. Okay. Could you give it to me? It's on the ground. Appreciate it. All right, let's make Rod of the Hells. Boom, Rod of the Hell is complete. Next one. Uh, Rod of the Molten Core. Rod of the Molten Core is crafted with two living wood twigs, which we already have. Uh, molten Core, Molten Core, where is that? It's far over there, okay. Uh, two Blaze Rods and a Rune of Fire. Do you have another Rune of Fire or no? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go make some Blaze Rods. So let's uh, get some Molten Cores. I think I'm gonna make like a few of these Molten Cores and the Blaze Rods so we have extra, you know? Just in That's case. Fine. So molten cores, let's take two, three, four. Let's make four into eight blaze rods. There we go. All right. Now we should be able to craft up the rod of the molten core. All right. Let's do that. Rod of the molten core. 
Oh, we're missing a ring of fire, right. Oh, here. Thank you, Ian. This is why I made another set of them, by the way. Yes. Ring of fire, molten core. Boom, rod of the molten core complete. Final one, rod of the depths. Uh, requires cobblestone, a rune of water, a rune of fire, and two living wood twigs. So first thing we're gonna do is make two living wood twigs. Do you have a fire and water rune? Fire and water. Yes. Fire and water. Yes. Do you? There's sloth. Now I need wrath. Earth. Winter. Oh, you threw a map, threw a map to me? Okay, cool. Alright, now that we got that, we're gonna craft up the final rod. Final elemental rod. Do, 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 do. That's the final one? Uh, wait, I already made molten core, didn't I? Wait, what do I need? Oh, I'm sorry, I forget which one I have to craft. Hold on. Oh, depths. Oops. Uh, rod right of the depths. Yep, I got all of them. Awesome. Alright, should be complete. Boom! Quest complete elemental rods. Wahoo! Alright, so, uh, but without further ado, I don't think we're going to continue with what we're doing at the moment. I think we're going to kind of show off some of the rods uh, at the end of the episode. So, I'll be back when we're ready to start that showcase because I think that some of the effects that they have are pretty cool. So, be right back, guys. All right, everyone, so we're here with uh, the Lexic Batania. So first thing is Rod of the Depths. Acts pretty much as a variant to Rod of the Lands. It does exactly the same thing with Cobblestone for a higher price. I think Rod of the Lands just places Cobblestone, kind of, but we already have Diamond Wands, so we don't really need that. Rod of the Hells uh, will create a uh, circle of fire. All right, let's test that. Whoa, look at that. Hey, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, no. That's don't burn fire. our base. It's, it, it, it doesn't catch items on fire. Oh. Or like blocks, I don't think it does. Where are you? I'm at the, uh... Sorter. Oh, okay. Alright, next thing. Let's see. Rod of the Lands. Yeah, so it looks like it, yeah, it's place, it places dirt blocks down. Wait, wait, can we just... Hold on, here's a question. Can I just... Whoa! Oh. It just creates dirt out of nothing. Really? Oh, probably mana. Mana, mana. yeah. It takes mana. That's kind of that's useful. And this is cobblestone. Cool. Okay, well, we already have an infinite gen, but it's not that big of a deal, so... Um, anyway, Molten Core will, should, yeah, it looks like it smelts stuff. So if I place down this and then go Molten Core, there we go. Auto smelt Whoa. without mining. All right, next thing, let's see. Looks like the Plentiful Mant, we, we don't have that yet. Seas, it's just water. I'm not going to obviously do that right now, but uh, it places down water. Uh, right of the Hells, right of the Skies. I think we've done all of them. I think I've showed, shown all of them. Um. But anyway, so something that Ian doesn't want to do, what I want to do, um, is to link these diamond pipes to export mana steel down through an ender link chest into the chest over there. Um, so, <laughs> uh, I want to check the time on recording, and we will either do that this episode, off camera, or next episode, depending on the time. So, I'll be back in one second. Alright, everyone, it looks like we only have 28 minutes on recording, so... Okay, okay, okay. It looks menacing, but it's actually not as bad as it, as it, as it looks. Um, but it is going to require three obsidian and a lot of blaze rods. So, we want to make two of these, obviously. We don't want to make more than two. Ian is like, oh, you have to make more than two. No, it's too expensive. Okay. So, we're going to we're gonna get some molten cores and make some blaze rods. And the other thing we're going to need is like a ender bag, I think. Uh, which is, I think, a quest. So, that's... Uh, we're going to need two eyes of ender... And a bunch of leather, so let's just get that really quickly right now. So let's get Eyes of Ender. Alright. Maybe I should do this off camera, I'm not sure yet, but let's make some Eyes of Ender first. Oops. Two Eyes of Ender done, and we need some leather. Now, do we have leather anywhere? Oh, we have six in here, but we need eight. Oops. Alright. Oops. Okay, there we go. We got one Ender bag. How do you make leather exactly again? Um... Um, we just have you get kill cows. All right, is we there cows over two there? in there. All right, I'll kill. We some. have two. All right, two uh leather in there. Two How leather in where? Need? Wait, two leather in where? In the like the chest right there. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, I, is that uh, enough? Yep. Yeah. Yep, it is. Okay. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Ender bag 2.0 done. All right, and I'm pretty sure what you do to get these different codes is you craft them with different dye. I think. Or no, wait. I think you. You can put different die on them. Put different die. No, I think they're crafted with a special code. No, no, no. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think you could just change the code with wool. 
colored wall. Right, you right. Just, like, you can just like white, okay. white, white. Okay, so let's get some white wool first. So which is just string. Yeah, we have so a bunch of string. We'll make two of that. All right. Uh, we have enough blaze powder or blaze rods. We need obsidian though, unfortunately. Um, um check the uh, big iron chest. You're right. You're right. You're very smart, Ian. We have several stacks. That is a very smart observation. <laughs> All right. Let's check the iron chest. Why is it open? It's like open. Obsidian. Do we have obsidian here? Obsidian, obsidian. Oh, obsidian. Here we go. I'll take 32. Oh, Oops, okay. I dropped it on the ground. Oh, no. It's stuck in an area where I can't get to it. Okay. Stuck. Boom, boom. All right. Now that we got obsidian, it looks like we can make the enderling chest. So let's make two of them. All right. Oh, we're missing wool, apparently. No, that's yellow wool. Okay, let's do this one. One, done, two, done. We have two enderling chests, except okay. one of them disappeared. Um, go, like, go like in and out of the... I, it's gone. I swear I made two. It went to the void? I don't know. That's weird. I, what happened to it? All right, uh, I'll be back in a second while we figure out what happened to that Ender Link chest. All right, everyone. So after a quick relog, we got another Ender Link chest because uh, I don't know what happened to it. It just disappeared. Maybe it's somewhere. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, uh, now that we got these two Ender Link chests, I think it's time to set up the sorting system. So the first thing that we're going to need to get is a bunch of gold pipe, which I have a bunch of gold in this chest. So we'll use that um, from here. All right. We're also going to need a lot of gold to unlock actually additions, I think. Uh, to make the gold chest walls, which obviously we're going to need to make in the future. But let's make, yeah, 16 gold transport pipe. Seems good to me. All right. So we'll begin by setting up the sections where it's going to pull from. So we'll start with this one right here. Now, the problem is, okay, you know what? I can fix this by going like this. Oops. Uh, where's my pickaxe? There we go. By doing this and, oh, uh, no, that's not good. Uh, Just go like out one. Is there, Oh, yeah, you're right. We can do that. Okay. Do you want me to make you some more pipes? Uh, we... Hold on, hold on. I have to move this over then. I don't know if that's configured correctly. Uh, I'll fix it. Alright, uh, this goes in here this way, right? Yeah, okay. And then we want to we wanna go down. Black will be the ender link chest for the Batania items. I'm going to make a little basement area where we can use that. Now, this okay. right here is going to be the problem. How are we going to do this? This one. Um... Hold on, I'm coming with more pipes. Is there any uh, way we can, can make the gold pipes not connect to each other? I could try with the... Don't know, actually. Unfortunately, I think that's going to be a problem. But we can move it. We have to move this closer to the chest, I think. Yeah, okay, so we have to move this, which means we... Oh, that's annoying. Um... Hold on, don't, don't move anything yet. Okay. I'll cut back when we're going to figure out what we're doing. All right, everyone. So, uh, with a bit of a struggle, as you can see, I placed a lot of water down there. I got down there... And I connected these two sections of these gold transport pipes together. So we have this partially completed. However, we're obviously going to have to connect it to the Enderlink chest and do everything else with that. So, um, yeah, I'll cut back when we are f about to finish setting up this uh, mechanism. All right, everyone. So it looks like we had to remove one of the redstone engines to fix this. Uh, it's not should be that big of a problem, I don't think. It's just one. So now we can actually run the golden pipes down. So I made a little platform down here so we can actually access it and stuff. Let's find that crafting table. All right. So we'll run the golden pipes down this way. Let's first of all connect them all like that. Um, and Wait, then... I should I should do some iron pipes so they don't yes, like... Yes, good idea, good idea. All right, which way does it have to go? That's to down. go left, right? We want to go down. We want to go down. Oh, we want to go down? Yes. Okay, hold on. Then I just say there. Okay. And they're all going down. All right. And then now this outputs into an ender link chest. There we go. Let's put a little slab under it so it doesn't look awkward. Um, public use. Now, we can't access the inventory. How does this work? I think it will show up on the other side. <laughs> I'm not sure, though. I can't put anything in it. Are you sure this is the correct... Uh... Oh, I don't know. Hold on. What? Let's test it. First of all, let's put a... First of all, let's put... Um, so black will be black lotus and mana steel. Black lotus... And mana steel on all these, so let's just do that. So mana steel, black lotus, black lotus, mana steel, boo, 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 boo. Boo, 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 black lotus, mana steel. All right, done. Now we have to figure out how this works. 
Um, okay. Uh, now if I put another one here. Oh, you can open it. Oh. Why can't I open this one? Is there a pipe above it? Oh. No, just maybe just pump it from the side. Okay. Oh no. Okay, I'll fix this. Um. This way then. Okay, you want to go that way then? Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. Oh, now we can open it. Okay, cool. So if I put a gold ingot in here, does it go over? Yes, it does. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now it should be pumping all that all that good stuff into this enderling chest, and now I'm gonna put the other one over there, so that way we can automatically get. Uh, mana steel and black lotus is in our mana chest over here. And by the way, I might want to upgrade this to like an iron chest or something. We we had a diamond chest, by the way, somewhere uh, we could use if we wanted to. But let's go over here and place it down here. Now, how do we pump it out of this thing? Redstone engines, I would assume? Yep, same okay. way, I think. Makes sense, makes sense. I'm going to put it underneath, by the way, so it's like cleaner. Like, you should give it like its own chest to put in, not like one of the... That's what doesn't fill it up. Uh, this could one. you get a diamond chest? There's one in the big thing. I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let me yeah, just... Go down here. All right. Place a bunch of blocks down here. All right. Let's make a little platform so I don't fall off. Block that off. Oops. All right. Down here will be our little right. area, little area where we have the redstone engine and whatnot. On my way. All right. Sounds good. Where would you like me to put it? Uh, down here. Okay. You don't want the diamond chest to be up here? Oh no, up here. Sorry, yeah. Um, two, like, like, see where I'm, like, right here. Okay. Right there. Okay. You we'll can, pump from the bottom. Now. Pump from the bottom. So yep. golden pipes go here, and now ender link chest goes here. Could you make a redstone engine? Uh, I already have one. Okay. Drop down. Oh, I need two. I need a lever. You need a you need a wooden pipe. Oh, we do not have that. You're right. Okay. Uh, let's go make that really quick. Oh, I can't get out. Whatever. I just... <laughs> okay, that got it. <laughs> I was a bit clunky, but whatever. All right. Let's get uh, some wood and make a wooden pipe or a few of them. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, wooden transport pipes complete. All right, and now we should be good to go if we just connect there like that and we do not have a lever oh we do okay okay all right cool so now this is going to be pumping into our diamond chest and with that i think we have hit the wrapping up point of the episode and i will see you all in the next one goodbye